Sister Smith, you are probably wondering why I have asked to meet with you today. Yes, Brother Jones, I am. Well, Sister Smith, it has come to my attention from other sisters in the congregation that you do not agree with the Watchtower teaching on 607 BC as the date for the destruction of Jerusalem. Well, Brother Jones, I have been doing some research and I cannot find any historical documents and archaeological discoveries to back up the date of 607 BC, except for Watchtower documents. Sister Smith, you must realize that 607 BC is critical to the Watchtower doctrine on 1914 because we have taken Daniel seven times prophesy and decided that it equals 2520 years and when we add that to 607 BC we arrive at the date of 1914. Yes, Brother Jones I am aware of that. But every encyclopedia, even the Jewish encyclopedia states that Jerusalem fell in 587 BC. And the head archaeologist for the British Museum says that the date of 587 BC for the fall of Jerusalem is a closed subject and not open for debate. That would mean that the Watchtower's doctrine of 1914 is off by 20 years, and it really should be 1934. Now Sister Smith, what the real problem is here is your loyalty to the organization. Your views on this subject are outright apostasy, and you can be disfellowshipped if you disagree with Watchtower doctrine. But Brother Jones, the Apostle Paul only said to disfellowship people who are fornicators, greedy persons, idolaters, revilers, drunkards, and extortioners. He didn't say anything about disagreeing with the organization. Sister Smith, you are speaking like an apostate, and you must stop this line of thinking immediately, and repent and ask Jehovah for forgiveness, or you will be disfellowshipped. The June 1, 1967 Watchtower said it best when it said, In Jehovah's organization it is not necessary to spend a lot of time and energy in research, for there are brothers in the organization who are assigned to that very thing. So you see, Sister Smith, you do not need to research on your own. The Watchtower has brothers who will do you the research for you. Your job is to obey and follow the guidance that Jehovah provides through His Spirit-directed organization. Brother Jones, does this mean that I must believe in a lie if the organization says it is the truth? Well, I can see in your confused way of thinking you would think that. But, if the Watchtower says it, then it cannot be a lie, it can only be the truth. After all Jehovah would not send his spirit to direct an organization that told lies, would he? Besides, you don't want to lose your husband and your children and your mom and your dad and your aunts and uncles and cousins and all of your friends at the Kingdom Hall forever, just over a little matter of 20 years, do you? Well, now that you put it that way, Brother Jones, no I do not. Thank you for keeping me in the truth.